Introducing first from Greens Point, Texas, the underground king, Ryan Hughes. Well, gentlemen, there is a battle with a lot on the line. The winner of this contest will be the number one contender for the Reality Wrestling Championship and face the winner of our main event here at Christmas Chaos. Brad Gilmore again, joined by the historian Kerry, uh, Kirby Carrion, and of course, Abel, Andrew Jackson, the face of the Reality Wrestling Broadcast team. Abel, how have you enjoyed Christmas chaos thus far? Oh, my God. It has been so amazing. It's been better than peanut butter and waffles on a Christmas morning. Exactly. <laughs> peanut butter and waffles for sure. With sprinkles. With sprinkles. With sprinkles. That's the distinction right there. Yes, you have to add the sprinkles as here comes the Lone Ranger of the world, the former reality wrestling television champion, the former reality wrestling champion, Brian Keith. And Kirby carry on, of course. He won that title against the Bear, Ryan Davidson, some many, many months ago. And this would be the opportunity that Brian Keith needs to find himself back in that title picture. A very common thread that we've seen here as of late is multiple time champions. Maybe Brian Keith is looking towards the future and trying to become a multiple time champion himself here, Brad. We're about to find out who will be next in line for that road title. Two uh, cornerstones, two pillars of reality wrestling, two of the longest tenured performers on the entire roster. And now, collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring, of course. Q with the size and strength advantage, but you might be able to debate on this one, Kirby, because I don't think anyone has a heart as big as Brian Keith. It honestly is going to take everything that Q has and then some to take down Brian Keith. We saw it time and time again where Brian Keith is up against all these challenges, but he never quits. Up until the end, you literally have to take him out twice in one match in order for him to go down. Now a pseudo test of strength right here. It's Q throwing Brian Keith into the corner. Oh. Wait a minute. Looking for that closed fist punch to the grill, and now the disrespect from Q, Abel. And you see right there, they're feeling each other out right now. You know, oh, there we go, there we go. Well, he felt that. I don't think I have ever felt something as intense as this, y'all. And here's the thing. This isn't a title match. 
it's for the opportunity to get a title match. So they know that both of them have to come out, you know, completely swinging, and, but they're not going to make any mistakes. Yeah, exactly. You have to treat it as if the championship was on the line. I mean, this is the second best thing to winning the title is being the number one contender for the title. So they're acting as if this is the championship match, and Brian Gee is able to duck that, and here come those kicks. Q. Woo! Veteran-like instincts. Going to the outside, you're applauding that behavior right there, Abel. I have to, I have to, because he was so smart. Instead of saying, I'm going to stay in here, I'm going to take this kick, and I'm going I'm to I'm respond to it. He said, no, I'm going to get out, I'm going to clear my head, I'm going to slow it down, because Brian Kidd likes it fast. He likes it quickest uh, feet in the south. I mean, quickest kicks in the south. But Q knows, let me slow him down, let me manhandle him, and let me pump him. So that's his key to victory right there. And I think that that's an astute observation from Abel Andrew Jackson Kirby because the pacing of this match, you would think would favor. Although Q has that agility, yes. he can keep up with you. You would think that it would favor Brian Keith. Absolutely. And that, the thing that I personally noticed from Q getting out of dodge there is the ring awareness. He knew exactly where he was, and he knew that he had to roll out in order to escape. And now, look at this. He's got him quartered now. And here we go. Wait a minute. And now Q, Ow! going for a big right hand. Brian Keith. With those quickest kicks in the south, damaging the ribs of Q. And the thing is, when you're the size of somebody like Mysterious Q, and you have bruised or damaged ribs, having to breathe becomes a challenge. It becomes an obstacle to get oxygen to all those muscles. It takes away the strength power. Yes. Oh! Oh! Well, obviously not yet, though. Not yet. <laughs> He missed it. Oh, oh, he oh. missed it. And now Brian Keith senses this is his opportunity to take advantage. Oh, wow. That was educated feet. Educated feet is right. Cover. One, two. A kick out there from the queue. You know, what's amazing to me, gentlemen, is that every single time that we're out here talking about Mysterious Q in one of his matches, everything that we say completely changes. If he's in there against the Giant, we talk about his speed. If he's in there with somebody smaller, we talk about his power. That is how good Q is. And now Brian Keith looking for that side effect. Looking for a side effect. Q, look at that just tearing back the right arm of Brian Keith from around his neck. Picks him up in a fireman's carry position. What is he going to do with him? And he just oh! drags him over the rope. But wait. Oh, there it is right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's, that's instinct. That's strategy. That's, that's smarts. He's using his head and not just his bones. Definitely thinking on his feet is the cue here, Kirby, thus far. What is Brian Keith going to have to do to get back in this thing? He is going to have to find an opening of some sort. He's going to have to make oh. sure to not only create an opening for himself, but also take advantage of that opening. But Q is not making any mistakes right now thus far. Yeah, Q really playing this perfectly. And there is that short arm elbow drop that he was looking for before. Beautiful, beautiful. Cover, one, two, and a kick out. Cover again, one, two, this time hooking the leg deeper. And now, again, smart strategy. You're not getting the cover, Abel. He's gonna go in and try to choke him out. And, and, and that's what I was saying, he's working on his win. He's working on his win. Just the whole thing, wearing him down, taking away his speed, taking away his, 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 his edge, because the, the extra cover, it takes a lot to kick him. It does. And right now, though, Brian Keith is in a very dangerous position. Oh, wait, two. And that was great ring awareness and smarts on the side of the former champion. Brian Keith able to roll Q up on the back, pin the shoulders down so Q was forced to break the sleeper hole. Oh! That corkscrew on the knee, on the right knee of Brian Keith, and you saw how quickly he gripped at the ligaments inside oh, that knee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. When they hit him with a dragon screw uh, leg uh, like that, it, 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 it's, oh, my gosh. It can tear up those ligaments inside the knee, which would completely limit Brian Keith's offense in its entirety, Kirby. 
Over half his arsenal is kicks. That is why he is the quickest kicks in the South. And also, don't forget, he uses that leg to jump up for the Rodeo DDT. That was just a beautiful game plan so far by the Q. That Rodeo DDT, though, all it takes is one from Brian Keith. He hits you with that Rodeo nine times out of ten, or actually ten times out of ten. He's getting that victory. We've seen him do it so many times, of course. Mysterious Q, the master of the Q cutter, as well as that 455 off the top. Oh. That's that heart you're talking about. Every single time that Brian Keith crumbles, he keeps getting right back up. No matter how many times he gets put down, he is going to get right back up. You saw the perspiration bounce off the chest of the mysterious Q. Echoing through this arena. Exactly. Oh, there's another one. Brian Keith swinging for the fences. Q laughing at him. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Kirby Carrier, you're crouching down. I after am. Me. It's just if I'm getting hit. That is how hard that sounds. I felt those before. I felt them. Oh, wait. Now these two are just battling. Oh, my gosh. That the legs. That knocked Q down to one leg. And he allowed Brian Keith to hit him with that. I don't know how smart that really was. And he's smiling through it. Oh, Q, this is a different Q. This is a different man. And now these two just throwing back and forth, back and forth right there in the middle of the ring. Ow! Oh, my gosh. Both of these men are Ow. incredible. Ow! Fighters. This is how much that shot at the Reality Wrestling Championship means for both these men. But I think Brian Keith just got the best of that exchange. Going for a European uppercut, Brian Keith. Had it scouted, and now oh. some quick kicks to the grill in the dome piece. Oh, Abel Andrew Jackson, these two are completely tearing each other up. Oh my gosh, this, this, this right here. It, oh, oh, looking for a two cutter counter. Brian Keith, oh. back suplex. Oh. What? But Q right back up, oh. and there's oh. the side of three goes. We were just a fraction of a second away from Brian Keith challenging either Will Alder or Cameron Cole for oh, the Reality yeah. Wrestling Championship, but Mysterious Q said no. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? They're coming alive. They're chanting for the Cowboy Brian Keith. Q had it scouted. So did Brian. Oh! Kick to the middle of the gut. He's Here looking we go. for it. Here we Rodeo. go. Rodeo DDT. Rodeo DDT. Oh. Going for a second one. He's going for a second one. That's gonna be it. Oh, oh my god. Oh. But Q. Q rolls oh. to the outside. Oh my. I don't know if that was ring awareness or pure luck for Q. But after two rodeo DDTs, Q finds himself on the outside. I think that was a little bit of both. I think it was a little bit of both. This is an incredible contest be between two of the very best that we have here at the Reality of Wrestling. When you think it can't get no better, it gets better. When you think peanut butter and waffles can't get no better, it gets better because you add another waffle and you add some warm syrup. Oh, my gosh. And the warm syrup being oh. applied and laid on thick cover here. Oh. No way. Inside cradle. One, two. Oh, man. I thought you had him there. I thought you had him there. And now Brian Keith fight looking for a backslide. And so is the Q. Oh! Spinning back heel kick to the back of the head of Brian Keith. I honestly think right now the ropes are just the only thing holding up Brian Keith. I don't think he's all there right now, as this is Q's opportunity to put this match away. I don't think Q's all there right now after taking two back-to-back -back rodeo DDTs. Oh my gosh. And what is what is Q thinking here? Abel Andrew Jackson, what is he thinking? He's thinking I have to go all the way out right now. This is do or die. This is all or nothing. Oh! oh! And Enzigiri almost knocking Q off the top outside oh! the ring. Oh, if he falls, it's over with. It's done. It's done. Brian Keith, he's thinking big, Kirby. He's thinking big. 
This is Christmas chaos. This could be it. And he's getting chaotic. Is he going to oh. go for a reverse rodeo DDT oh. off the top? There is no way that he's going to pull this off. Look at this. Q able to flip him over, though. And here he goes once again. Oh, oh my gosh. Reverse rodeo DDT cover. One, two, three. He oh, grabbed the rope. He grabbed the rope. He grabbed the rope. Brian Keith able to get a hand on the bottom rope before Ooh. a three count. He got his hand on the bottom rope. Now that's ring awareness. That's being the general in the ring. Oh! And Q tries to break the hand. He's making him pay for it. And he has to. This is a very, very dangerous oh. spot between oh. all of these men. As I buy oh. Keith connecting with those headbutts up top. Another chop oh! from Mysterious Q to the chest of Brian Keith. And what are they thinking this time? Is Q going to do it to the outside? No. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Brian Keith with some headbutts trying to fight out of it. Using everything. The suspense in this match is just too much for me. Oh, oh, the top rope. Oh, oh, the top rope. Oh, can he capitalize? This, this is it. it. This One, is it. Two, three. Oh. No. What does it take? In all my years, Kirby, this is such a pressure-filled, intense match. The winner is the number one contender for the Reality Wrestling Championship. What is it going to take? At this point, what is it going to take for either of these men to put away the other and get that contendership? This is how bad they want. This is what it means. This is what... Q catches it. He catches the kick. Brian Q! Oh! Oh! He might have knocked him out. He's he from the cover. He might have knocked him out. Can he turn him over? Can he turn him over? Oh, he's going to pick him up. He's trying to pick up Q, and Q's just dead weight. He's complete dead weight at this time. Brian Keith. Oh, now it goes. Here it goes. Looking for that Rodeo DDT. Rodeo up top. DDT. He's got him up top. Q oh, cutter. Q cutter. What? Out of nowhere. One, two, three. Q is the number one contender for the Reality Wrestling Championship. What? Mysterious Q checking with Isaac Bouillon saying was head three, and it indeed was a back and forth battle, the likes that maybe we have never seen in this company before. And the man who made us in it, oh so many Christmas chaoses, oh so many Summer of Champions, a triple crown winner could be staring down the barrel of another title reign, Abel Andrew Jackson. Have you ever seen something like that from the Q? Never. But I, I, I can tell he has a fire. He has a, he's unleashed now. He don't care what nobody thinks. He, he's, all he is, is focused. Kirby, carry on. Try to encapsulate your summary of the events that just played out before us. Wow. These are two of the elite competitors that we have here in the reality of wrestling. And now Mysterious Q, he could be just moments away from becoming a reality wrestling champion once again. And guys, it has been over six years since Mysterious Q has won that championship. Wow. Impressive. Q, the number one contender for the road title.